do is apply raw linseed oil. So a coat is about a teaspoon. And just use a rag or a sponge just to rub the oil in, just to nourish the wood. What the oil does is just seeps into the fibres, moistens them, so that when we come to knock the mat in in a moment, it dents rather than cracks. Um, and the second thing the oil does is when it dries, it dries quite hard. So, something like that. You can do all the unlabeled areas. And it also helps to just seal the wood from uh, moisture in the atmosphere. So before you do start hitting with a mallet, obviously you need to leave the oil for 24 hours or overnight just to, just to let it soak in. Um, I use a horse's shin bone on the edges. You can use a rolling pin, just rubbing it up and down the leading edge, just rounding it off. You'll see it just smooth off. And all that does is just compress the fibres just so the initial impact with the mallet is not quite so much of a shot. And then you can start, start tapping the edge with the mallet. So about 45 degrees. Nice and gently to begin with. Just work it up, up and down the edge. Like so, just short wrist swings, lots of control. And you hold the bat just, uh, just to the side of your crotch there, just to give you a bit more control over the bat. So on the face, you're hitting the bat just a touch, touch harder. On the first session, quite a little bit more, a lot more control. Really. Short arm swing. And I tend to work in two inch sections up and down the bat, and then move up to the next two inch section, side to side, and so on, until I get about two inches from the toe. And eventually I'll turn it round, just do short arm jabs on the toe. Be very careful not to impact the bat at 45 degrees on the toe, because you will damage the toe that way. And the reason I turn it round is so that I've got a lot more control where I'm hitting. And all the time while you're doing this, you can, you can see where you've been by holding up to the light, and you'll see the small indentations, and the idea is just to join all those indentations up, so in theory then you've knocked the bat in evenly. Ideally you would do at least three to four sessions of about a quarter of an hour um, and you can give it a coat of oil between each session and then uh, you can gradually build up the, uh, the strength uh, that you're hitting the bat. So on the last session you really go for it. And basically, if you're not annoying all the people around you, you're not doing it very well. There's no point in sitting there on the boundary and just tapping it because you're wasting your time. You really want to get, get some impact into the wood. And like I said, you see the, see the dents and join them all up. Um, when you use the bat the first time, if you see big seam marks, that's the sign that you do need to do a bit more knocking in.